What is going on guys and girls, my name is Rangelf and today we've got for you a very special squad builder. It is a triple legends squad builder. As you can see we're going for the good old 41212. Before we get into this video guys, if you're looking for cheap and reliable coins, go and use the game keys. They sell pretty decent amounts of coins, you know like 10k, 50k, 100k, all at variable prices. If you use my code as well, you get 5% off at the discount. Everything is in the description below. As you can see we've got Ika Casillas in goal and um, I am using some new settings for my mic tonight guys so if it does sound a little bit off do tell me and I will try my best to sort it out um, I'm not really I can't find any good settings for this mic even though I've been using it for a long time the other centre back we have well the first centre back we've got is of course Pepe Pepe is such a great defender on this game for such a cheap price I don't understand why he's like less than 5k to be honest with you he's really quick got a really good tackle on him and he's great at heading so I don't know why he's so cheap we've got uh, Fabio Cohen Trout as left back. I didn't really notice too much defensively from him, but going forward, he was pretty decent. He could put in a decent cross. We're going to move over to the other centre back now, and we're actually going to change this up. We was in the league of BBVA. We're going to go for the England nationality now, and we're going to go for Smalling. As you can see, that's kind of ruined the first legend for you. And I have to say, Smalling was pretty decent. Is fairly pacey to be honest with you. Um, he's similar to Phil Jones, I think. He's quite fast, quite tall, and pretty decent at tackling to be honest. We do get a lucky goal with him there, as you can see, and we're going to show off his standing tackles here as well. We're also going to move on to the right back now, and you know, you guys know who it is already. It's the legendary Gary Neville. I'm not 100% sure on what his price is at the moment. This squad at the time of building it is around about 3 million coins. It might be a little bit more than that, but as you can see here, he's really good going forward. He gets the ball, and he makes the run all the way up to the box, and again, makes the run all the way up and puts in you know a fairly decent cross, to be honest. Unluckily, we did not get the goal. And for some reason, boom. Oh! <laughs> I just had to include that for some reason we actually got a goal with him so I can't help but put the reaction in I don't know why but he wandered up the pitch and he was up front for some reason so yeah uh, I decided to stick that little reaction in there you know it's pretty famous reaction to be honest with you we've got Zaha right mid and for a couple of games I didn't enjoy using him but I have to say after he did this I was really really impressed with him look at this for a strike right into that top corner see you later goalkeeper no man's land there for you it just went straight over him straight into that top corner absolutely beautiful finish and to be honest with you he was pretty decent on the ball and he actually won a header as well so I'm not sure many wingers actually do wing, he wing headers win headers um, when I use Ben Arthur he wins headers quite a lot but I wasn't expecting it from Zaha especially because he's a silver player playing against gold players but we're going to look at Jack Rodwell now I've never used him on FIFA not going to lie not even on the last game but he's pretty decent as a certain defensive mid he's good defensively and he's got a great pass and to be honest he can get forward like this and to be honest the finish here is a great shot I've said to be honest too many times in this squad builder already I'm going to try and stop now and he actually wins a header as well and scores himself another little goal there so so far this squad is pretty damn good are you enjoying it so far let me know by leaving a like and um, let me know who you would rather have put as the CDM if you could fit someone else chemistry wise I think a lot of this team is based around chemistry and trying to fit in the three different legends as you can see we've got the second one now we've got Futre and he is absolutely immense on this game he is one of my favorite legend cards I've used I've used four so far he is in the top two without a doubt as you can see here we come inside and look at this lovely finish I mean that is an absolutely beautiful finish you're not gonna get much better than that I'm gonna look at the replay now and you can see how much of an impressive shot it is straight into the top corner you do not save those I think he actually gets another goal this might actually be an assist this is an assist it's just gonna show that he can he can cross as well as shooting we're gonna move on to the next player now and this is gonna be quite a surprise to some of you it's actually going to be a bronze player some of you may know this player and he's actually quite a good bronze player to be honest with you got the four star skill moves we actually did manage to get a really really cheeky goal look at this chipped over the goalkeeper that's pretty much the only clip I did actually get with him he wasn't too bad he was quite good on the ball as you can see he's got really high dribbling but um, you can't really compare him to the guy that was on the wing, Futura. He's just out of this world. And, you know, going from a 87 legend card, passing inside to this bronze center attacker mid, it's just, you know, there's, there's no way that you can ever try and think that the bronze one is any good. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it was just such a different, like, class that it was just hard to say he's good. 
Um, I'm sure in a bronze team he'd be pretty decent now. We've got Osvaldo. He was one of these players again that took a couple of games to get going, but once he actually you know, once he actually started to go get going and I got used to him, he was actually pretty decent. Um, his dribbling was the only problem. And Zaggy and Osvaldo felt like very similar players to be honest with you. They could both win headers. They've both got a pretty decent shot on them. It's just they take a while to get moving and the touches are a little bit clanky in my opinion. Like they're sometimes too heavy and sometimes when they're dribbling and turning it does take a little while to do. And that's the only only complaints I can have but so far I think um, Inzaghi is probably the third best legend card I have used. There's Paolo Futre is the second and I'm going to review the best tomorrow. If you have enjoyed this video guys please can we get 150 likes for this absolutely awesome um, squad builder. It's a pretty nice hybrid as well so if you're new around here remember to leave a like, comment and as always subscribe.